Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I am here today with Rico because we have a course for you on how to groom your Havanese. Now we have Rico here. He's dry, he's nice and straight, and it is pouring rain outside. So there are a few things that we need to do to make sure that this blow dry lasts as long as possible, either till I get him to the show or get him back to his mother or whatever the case may be. So a few things. He's not gonna wear a collar and he's definitely not gonna wear a harness. He's not gonna wear clothes and outfit of any kind. He is gonna be au naturel. Um, we are going to make sure that his top knot is 100% completely dry before we band it. So yes, we know that it's dry now, but even if I put him somewhere um, and he has a drink of water and shakes, even those water droplets need to be dried before I band his top knot. He can't play with other dogs. He can't play with his friends right now for as long as we want the blow dry to last. He also shouldn't be on a rough bed. So even a bed that was as rough as, as this towel is going to make the hair crinkle. So he should be on like a satiny smooth bed, something that's very soothing and smoothing to his coat. And lastly, he can't go outside to pee right now. If he did, he would have to go in a covered area where the grass or the ground cover was dry, which could be difficult. Um, so he needs to go out into a dry area. And if you don't have a dry area, when he comes in, you're gonna need to dry whatever got wet. Otherwise the blow dry isn't going to last. So this is another important tip because a lot of people will spend hours drying their dog and then they let their, they put a collar on it and they let it play with their other dogs outside. And you know, I've even had friends that had their dog yard, the grass was very, very short. It looked like a golf green and they would actually take the forced air dryer and dry the grass with the dryer before they would let their dogs pee after a bath. Now that's more extreme than I want to be, but I think somewhere between letting them out in the pouring rain and drying the grass for them to pee, there is a happy medium where you're going to have the blow dry last as long as you need it to. And even when we are drying, you can see he was trying to scoot away from the dryer. You don't want that dryer too far away from him. That's another common mistake I see people making is the dryer's here and they're both like all the way at the edge of the table. And like, they're wondering why it's either A, taking them longer to dry or B, it's not getting straight. So, you know, you do want to have the dryer. You probably saw me during the drying, moving it closer to him at times. And that's also why it's really important to have your hands in there all the time. because You want to make sure that you're basically getting as much airflow as the dog and you can withstand. You don't want to scare the dog. You don't want it to be too hot, but you also don't want it to be really cold and far away because you're not going to get the result and it's going to take you a very long time. And I just want to point out that even though I started here in the middle, mostly because we're filming this, I'm not going to go from here to here to here. I'm going to go from this middle section and keep drying all the way. I don't want to leave a wet section between my dry sections of hair. And when you are drying, you noticed in the previous video that I, I started right here, right? Kind of the lowest part of his body, the center of his body. And then once this was dry, I didn't go from there to a foot, right? Or from there to this foot. I went from there and just dried the hair next to it, the hair next to it, the hair next to it, then up a leg, then down the leg. Then, you know, I, I didn't go from here to here to here to here. I started in one place and I just methodically, systematically, went up and down the legs, um, making sure this is how you get your dries to last. This is how it's systematic by just working all, you know, I wanted to get these two legs done, but I can't get the legs done without this undercarriage being dry. And then the other thing, if we look at him now, right? So I finished drying him. If you look on the side of his foot here, like this isn't completely dry. Like it might look dry to you, but I can see this hair is nice and straight, doesn't have any um, 
wave to it and the hair isn't separating. Like you can see how the hair is laying all nicely together. Where on this side, you can see how this hair is separating. So this hair is a little bit damp. So it's not completely dry. So before, this is a good check, right? Turn off your dryer, take a look at what you've dried before you move on to the next step. And any areas that aren't 100% dry, just go back and, and get in there with your brush again. I always recommend for that little short hair that doesn't want to be dry, you can see the separation um, to make sure it's completely dry. Again, if your dries aren't turning out, this little bit of dampness is gonna go up his leg as well later he could lay down on it. It's gonna affect his side coat, his ears, everything. So really important to keep triple checking that your dog is completely dry. Also, when I touch this hair, this hair feels cool. When I touch the dry hair, feels from warm temperature. So if you think it's damp and you're squeezing it between your fingers and it feels cool at all, it is still wet or damp. So if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about the Havanese with our friend Rico here, please watch our course on how to groom the habit. Hi guys, thanks for joining us for our latest Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.